A retired military colonel who reached the edge of space visited a St. Paul school today to inspire students to do the same. WCCS Mariel Mose introduces us to the first and only black woman to fly the Air Force's U-2 spy plane. It was a celebratory afternoon at Farnsworth Aerospace Campus in St. Paul as they rung in their 20th anniversary as a public school. Every kindergartner through fourth grader here studies STEM in an in-depth way. So for them, meeting Colonel Meryl Tengsdahl was a big deal. I like to tell you guys a story. She's the first African-American woman to fly this U-2 Air Force spy plane, one of the most difficult planes to fly as it can go high into the stratosphere, more than double the height of a normal passenger airline. But making history was never Meryl's intention. Someone whispered it in my ear when I soloed in the U-2 for the first time. I go, oh, really? Again, I I was, I'm making decisions based on what I love. She took the kids back to when she was their age, in third grade in the 70s in Bronx, New York. And this was the class worksheet she was asked to fill out. Career dreams for the boys included astronaut, soldier, or athlete. For the girls, career options were limited to mother, model, or secretary. She showed this to tell the kids the best thing they can strive to be is themselves, and whatever that looks like. I think it's important that we look at the past to see how where we've come and you know we've got a long way to go. Maybe some kids in this room know their dream already and maybe some are still searching. But no matter what, Merrill's message resonates with all of them. There's more than just the sky's the limit. Just shatter that sky and be the best version of yourself that you can be. In St. Paul, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. If you think Colonel Tangsdell is impressive, you can see her show how tough she is. She starred in season two of the CBS reality competition, competition Tough as Nails. It is streaming now on Paramount Plus. Paramount is the parent company of WCCO.